listening practice test, Rhinoceros Beetle. Our next discussion of uh, today is the Oryctes rhinoceros, Elphie Eleza Carmarudin, better known as the Rhinoceros Beetle. As the wind blows, their elegant fronds dance with the flow of the breeze. Coconut trees possess the mystical ability to conjure up a tropical paradise atmosphere wherever they may be found. However, like all other kinds of vegetation, coconut trees are susceptible to insect attacks. The insect that is most likely to attack it is none other than the rhinoceros beetle. The Malays refer to them as the kumbang tadok, meaning horn beetle. Only the male rhinoceros beetle has the distinctive horns that give this intriguing creature its name. This particular species conjures up excuse me, this particular species measures up to 43 millimeters, making it one of the largest insects in Southeast Asia. However, it cannot be compared with its counterparts, the Goliath and Her Hercules beetles from tropical America and Africa respectively, which can measure up, can you believe this, to an amazing 155 millimeters. It lays its eggs in rubbish heaps, rotting tree trunks, sawdust, and other vegetative matter. These hatch into small larvae in about 10 to 18 days. The younger larvae feed on decaying wood and vegetative matter and can grow to lengths of about 60 millimeters or more. During this stage, they do not damage the plants. The larval stage lasts from 2.5 to 7 months after which pupation takes place within the breeding site. The pupae will require another 1.5 to 2 months before it transforms into an adult and becomes a threat to the palm trees. They enter the heart of the palms and feed on the tender tissues within. Subsequently, the new leaves will be damaged and the resulting fan-shaped frond is characteristic of a rhinoceros beetle attack. To control the population of this insect, chemicals such as carboferon are used. Traditionally, a piece of barbed wire was used to spear and collect the beetles attacking the young leaves of palms. So the next time you see your palm fronds bearing the rhinoceros beetle's characteristic signature, stop. Take a look around. There may be a new bug in town.